Guardiola has revealed that Manchester City won't be making any new signings when the transfer window reopens in January. City are finalising their preparations as they go up against Chelsea in the Carabao Cup third round live on Sky Sports tomorrow night. Guardiola says that Calvin Phillips will be in the squad. He's also gave us an update on the fitness of Erling Haaland when he spoke to our reporter Alan Irwin at today's news conference. How do you approach this game against Chelsea in the Cup, given it's a, a very short turnaround for Saturday with a half-12 kick-off against uh, Brentford? Does that change your thinking of who might be involved and does Erling Haaland play from the start? I still I don't decide. I, I, we have not decided because we have trained this afternoon and we have time until tomorrow at, uh, tomorrow night. Uh, the pro just prepared the game to win the game. To do our performance as best as possible, we're also out the stadium. So yeah, this is the approach. And if you win this round, of course, the next round takes place just before Christmas, when some of your players may only just be back from the World Cup. Some of them might might not even be back. Does that change your thinking ahead of the the Premier League when it restarts? No, the Premier League do this to support the academy. So it's a good idea. Always thinking for the future for the English football. Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Pep, you've got great financial backing here uh, from the owners. We've seen another set of fantastic financial results this week, which would stand you in good stead if you need to strengthen further in, in January. How pleasing is that for you? No, I'm not involved in that. So As to Ferran Soriano, he's the boss on that. But by contrast, news yesterday that Liverpool's owners would consider selling under the right terms and conditions. Were you surprised to hear that? I'm not the right person to ask this question. And not the only one, the right one to answer you. But does it still show that there's a, a massive financial difference between the... Don't ask me these kind of questions. I, I, I cannot ask you. I'm not involved in that. So I'm not a CEO. I try to be a good manager as possible. As good manager as possible. That's all. But you must be and of course I'm not going to talk about the other clubs. So. But in terms of strengthening in January, if you needed to, then you've got that backing. That must give you great confidence. We're not going to strengthen in January. Bye. We're not going to strengthen the squad in January. So we have the squad that we have. We are pleased in that. That's all. It is what it is. Your squad will stay the same. Yeah. In addition to your games, there's two friendly for Norway's uh, next week. Is Ali fit enough and ready to play a role in, in all these games? He's not perfect still, he's not perfect. So we'll see tomorrow, next Saturday, but he's getting better. So important, the bone is not broken, so it's not damaged. Just the ligament damaged a little bit, so it's not perfect right now. So, But the, I don't know, you know, in one week, ten days, Everything can happen, so can then, change. So then how satisfied are you with him going to play two friendlies for the national team? If he feels good, he, he play the national team is so important for the players. I never I never boy to, to the players when they are fit to play with the national team. Hi, Pep. Um, how do you react to being drawn with uh, uh, Leipzig in the Champions League? We have a short experience for last season. Like uh, we struggled a lot, we scored a lot of goals here, but we conceded here in Etihad. We lost there. Uh, we see what happened in February, how we arrive, how they arrive. But huge respect what they have done in German football in Europe and, and led in Europe right now already. It's a young team with a clear philosophy of the way they want to play. Box-to-box uh, -box transitions, good manager, have an experience when we play against Gladbach. So, yeah, it's worthy, it's Champions League. So, last 16, you ask me for them, you can ask me for Porto just in case, or for Inter de Milan, or Milan, or PSG, or... All teams are really, really strong in, this, in these stages. It's just after World Cup, and restart again how we will feel, how we'll be in that moment. So now, if I tell you how to play next week against, against Leipzig, I will tell you exactly, you know, the position that we are, the position that you, um, they are, and after. But in February, many things can happen. 
Hi, Pep. Um, I was just going to do a team news check. Um, I know you said that um, Phillips was going to be on the bench for tomorrow's game. Um, what's the latest on Carl Walker as well? Is there a chance no. that he might be involved? Um, and then looking ahead to the, the World Cup squad on Thursday, then for those two, would you still say, do you feel like they've, they've got every chance of being in that squad, given what you're seeing from the I got a Southgate. <laughs> So I cannot answer you. I don't know what is the plan. I think they are communicating with the physios, doctors, and club, and English federation, English national team. So, but uh, a part of that I, I cannot answer you. I don't know. But for sure, we could, see, we could see Phillips involved tomorrow off the bench. Possibly, we'll be with the squad. Yeah. Right, Manchester City will face Chelsea in the standout game in the third round ties in the EFL Cup, and Alan Irwin joins us now. I mean. As always, Alan, uh, Pep gets questioned on completely other topics as well. That was your job to pose those questions to him today. Fair to say he wasn't really wanting to talk about that. No, sometimes it can be very difficult and you can understand the responses from Pep Guardiola, despite the fact that it's been a very good week for Manchester City, both on and off the pitch. He was very praiseworthy of his side's performance in the game against Fulham when they played most of the game with 10 men. He was praiseworthy after the game, saying it was one of the best performances he's seen. And then, of course, followed up with the uh, financial results that were released earlier this week, um, which obviously were fantastic for the football club. And it's understandable that journalists will want to ask those questions of Pep Guardiola about what it does for the football club. It strengthens their position further, which might be frightening for some of the other clubs in the Premier League because Manchester City have a, a really good squad. He wasn't prepared to comment on those uh, financial matters, saying it's, it's not his task, he's not the CEO. But obviously, he will be pleased and he was asked about the future in terms of the January transfer window. Um, will they strengthen in that window? Will they buy or sell? Uh, quite categorically, he just said he was, he was happy with the squad. And obviously, there'd been issues uh, a few weeks ago about Jurgen Klopp stating that Manchester City were one of three clubs that they could not compete with. And we are prepared to ask those questions about whether there is a huge financial difference between the football clubs. But again, Pep Guardiola not for talking about those matters. But it is clear that he's very happy with the position of Manchester City as a, as a football club, the position that they are in the Premier League. You could see the responses around about the game itself against Chelsea. He wasn't prepared to reveal who's going to play in the squad. Uh, Erling Haaland is always a topic of discussion, isn't he, when we come to Manchester City. I have a feeling that he certainly will be involved over the course of tomorrow and again on Saturday against Brentford. He has that injury which he alluded to there that you heard. It's slight ligament damage but nothing serious, no bones broken or anything and things can change quite quickly for him. But in that sense, uh, you get the feeling that he will be involved and uh, Maybe that's a, a, a real downside for, for Chelsea coming here tomorrow. But uh, good news for Manchester City fans and maybe England is that Calvin Phillips is fit and uh, was confirmed by Pep that he would be involved tomorrow night. So uh, that is some good news. But no Kyle Walker still. And obviously it's not Pep's job to answer questions about whether they'll be in the England squad that Gareth Southgate names on Thursday. But certainly an interesting chat with Pep, even though he wasn't prepared to answer many of our questions on the uh, tremendous financial results that came out from Manchester City earlier this week. Yeah, absolutely. It's always good to talk to Pep. Thank you very much, Alan.